Hi there, it's Haley, and it is the metabolism question of the week. You guys voted, and so I'm going to answer your question. Um, thanks again for voting. We really appreciate it. You guys chose uh, to have me answer what happens if you get stuck and you don't have the right food, the, f the appropriate food for the phase that you're on. Should you eat? Should you skip a meal? What should you do? You know, I always want you to eat. It's better to have something every three to four hours than to skip having food at all. If you can, try to pick a food or a vegetable and a protein. That would be an ideal thing, even if it's the wrong phase, to help keep the metabolism going. I always look at it as this. The fast metabolism diet is designed to enhance and repair and restore a broken metabolism. So those foods are strategically, as I've talked to you about before, macronutrient driven to help repair a certain mechanism in the metabolism for the specific phase that you're on. But there's a lot of foods out there that aren't maybe going to repair your metabolism strategically, but will help nourish your metabolism and definitely won't hurt your metabolism. So if you can pick real food, any real food, definitely eat within 30 minutes of waking and every two to four hours throughout the day. Let's say you get stuck. Don't hesitate to grab, you know, run into a restaurant and grab a hard boiled egg from the salad bar. Um, you know, we've done all kinds of crazy things. Raw nuts and seeds can be found in a lot of places. Um, things like, I, I always keep a crash dash. I have a lot of food allergies, so I have a tendency to have, you know, Shelton's turkey jerky. I have um, raw nuts and seeds everywhere. There's also a lot of protein bars that, while they might not repair the metabolism, at least they're not going to hurt the metabolism. I like um, products like Organics. I like products like Amazing, uh, it's called Amazing Grass, kind of like Amazing Grace, but with the word grass, I think that's cute. Um, nude bars can be really good too. Again, do I use those strategically to repair the metabolism? Absolutely not, but can they help nourish your body? Can they help, um, and, and definitely not hurt the metabolism? They're not bad things to have around as, as you know, kind of the ultimate, um, if you're really crashing. Um, I, you know, I, I use our uh, fast metabolism diet or FMD protein powders. I always keep those kind of around as well. I just stick it in my blender bottle, head out the door with some water, and some days I use them, some days I don't, but they're definitely good if I get stuck. Um, so remember, it's, I always want you to eat something, preferably food. I'm never really going to advocate that you eat, you know, um, bug spray or rat poisoning or things that are meant to... Um, uh, build submarines, so i.e. chemicals, additives, and preservatives, but I definitely want you to eat food frequently to keep the metabolism enhanced within 30 minutes of waking every three to five hours. If it's phase specific, that's going to be awesome because I chose those micronutrients for true repair, but if it can be whole food, that's incredible. And let's say you get stuck. I always say try to go cleanest um, like, like I, you're not going to catch me. It's very difficult to ever catch me eating non-organic chickens because they're very, very dirty or non-organic dairy. But you might see me go down in a blaze of glory with a little bit of uh, preferably grass-fed, ideally organic, but beef has a tendency to actually be a little bit cleaner than the chickens or the dairy. So um, look out for those dirty dozens on the fruits and vegetables. Um, with dairy, go organic. If you end up you know, having to grab a string cheese or a Greek yogurt or something like that, um, when you're in the true 28 days, think repair, 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 but also think about just eating food, real food, all day long, and that's going to help stoke your metabolism.